eight, seven, They're going to be going up against six, Prom Freya. Five. Four, now, it looks three, like Promphaya is, is running one, uh, five, just a standard finger five, tech beater bar now. You know, if it works, that custom bar they had earlier, uh, if you recall, exploded into three pieces, I believe, right? And then later on, it exploded into two pieces. Yeah, let's see if this one can stay into one piece. We're making improvements, slowly but surely. Oh. oh, no, the face on Bison's just been ripped off. Yeah, it has. And the beater bar has stopped. The beater oh, no. bar on Promphaya is now down. Ooh, but there's some good pushing here. Yeah, now oh, we're down yeah. to a control fight, which is Bison's territory. Exactly. This is Bison's favorite place to be. Super destructive weapon down. And uh, really capitalizing with these pins here. And look, there's another good pin on Promphaya. And the weapon on Promphaya is dead. Very dead. So yeah, Promphaya switched over to control bot mode, doing a great job. All things mm. considered. This is a 10 second pin here. And you can see the, the wheels spinning on Promphaya and the wheels coming apart just from the pushing there. With Bison's face gone. Looks like Drew Davis still has another good yeah, pin. There, there we go. go. Nice pin there. Wow, really good drive there from Drew and Bison. We are going to see Drew Davis's driving skills on display here. One of the really great things about having a front hinged uh, lifter like, like Bison at home is that you can practice in your living room without uh, damaging anything. So uh, that's, that's where we see this really great driving. Plus, Drew Davis has been coming to this competition now for years. Yeah. Excellent driver. Really controlled, really thoughtful. 40 seconds left here in this fight. And now it seems like the Ooh. wedge of Bison shoved underneath that guardrail. Yeah, I think that this may just be a, a regular pin. Yep, Bison's able to get out of that. 20 seconds left. It looks like they've just been trading pins back and forth. They really have. Now, if have. I was a judge, I would say, you know, Bison uh, hasn't really taken much damage. It's just been that uh, pair of eyes, really. And True. Bison's, you know, hasn't lost any of its ears. It's still able to, uh, to pin. Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Now, Pramphaya has had some challenges with its weapons today. Oh, yeah, for this sure. This one will go to the judges. At least it did not explode into several pieces this time. Well, there you go. Big help. Went with the finger tech beater bar this time around. It works. Yeah, well. if, it, if, it, if it works, then it works. All right, let's go to the judges. We started with Don last time. Maybe we can start with Diana. Diana, your thoughts on this fight, Promphaya versus Bison. I'm gonna have to go with Bison on this one. It had a lot of good uh, pins and showed a lot of control. So they got my vote. All right, we've got one vote for Bison. How about you, Jack, your thoughts? Yeah, I'm going to go with Bison too. They hadn't lost any of the function from their main drive or weapon by the end of the fight and yeah. from fire just naturally loses points for switching to a finger tech egg beater anyway <laughs> all right yeah uh we've got two votes for bison uh don your thoughts uh i thought it was a lot closer 